Crochet Corner. My name is Maham and I crochet pieces that are inspired by the things that I like. You can find some of my free patterns posted over here. And if you like my work and want to support me with donations or purchase some of my Ko-Fi patterns, those are posted over here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this adorable star granny square that is inspired by Taylor Swift's folklore cardigan. Because if you're like me, you missed out and you're incredibly sad over it. And while I can't show you how to crochet the cardigan, Yet, I can show you how to make this granny square, which you can then turn into maybe a tote bag, a shoulder bag, book sleeve, cushion cover, pillow cover, so many options. And all you need to know is how to crochet this simple little granny square. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook and yarn size that's appropriate for that hook. And we're gonna start off by making a magic ring. So you're gonna twist your yarn, insert your hook, Grab onto the yarn, twist, and chain one to secure. You can let your fingers go and you're going to have a little circle in the middle. Now chain two. So you're going to have a total of three chains. One, two, and three. Now you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, and we're going to be making a double crochet. Pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops. So you're going to have your first double crochet and now we're going to be inserting a total of 14 double crochets. So I did one, I'm going to do 13 more. This is how I like to hold my magic ring. So the ends are here, I'm holding onto it like this and I insert my hook into that little space at the top. So here I have 14 double crochets inside my magic ring and now we're going to be slip stitching into the top of the chain 3. So that's your chain 1, chain 2, chain 3. So insert your hook into the top of the chain 3 and slip stitch like that. And now we're going to chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And now we're going to be making the points of the star. So we're going to be making five points. So the pattern that I'm going to show you next, you are going to repeat it five times all around your circle. So chain five and insert your hook into the second chain from your hook. So that's your first chain, that's your second chain, and we're going to go into the second chain and do a single crochet. In the next chain, we're going to be doing a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. In the next chain, we're going to be doing a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And in that last chain, we're going to be doing a triple crochet. So yarn over two times, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you have your first point, and now to join it back into the circle, we're gonna count. So this is the stitch that we're working in right now. This is your first, second, and now we're gonna slip stitch into the third. So first, second, go into that third chain, and slip stitch. And that is how you make a point. We're going to do this one more time. So we're going to chain five. We're going to go into the second chain from our hook. Insert a single crochet. Then we're going to do a double crochet. Sorry, half double crochet. And then we're going to do a double crochet. And then we're going to do a triple crochet. So yarn over two times. That's your second point. Now this is the stitch that we're working in. First, second, and we're going to slip stitch into the third. Okay, and there you go. So you just repeat this pattern all around till you reach the end over here. I'm doing my last point. This is the stitch that I'm working in for a second and I'm going to slip stitch over here. 
and then you're gonna chain one, get your scissor, cut it, pull, you can turn it back and then you can pull it this way to make it pointy. And there you go, there's your star. For the next step, I'm going to be using this cream off-white color. So choose any point of your star, it doesn't matter which one. Insert your hook at the very top. So we have this chain line over here, right at the very first chain. Insert your hook through it. Make a little loop with your cream color and pull it through like this. Chain one. In the next space, we're going to insert a half double crochet. And then a double crochet. And then a triple crochet. I'm doing this really slowly for any beginners out there so you can see how the stitches are made. And now we're going to be triple crocheting these two stitches together. To do that, you're going to yarn over two times, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. And then you're going to yarn over two times again, go into the next stitch. You're going to pull up a loop, you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then you're going to have three loops left on your hook. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. And that's how you triple crochet two together. And now in the next stitch, we're going to be triple crocheting. And then double crochet. And then half double crochet. And to end the pattern, you're just going to single crochet over here. And that is your pattern. I'm going to do it one more time. So half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet. And then triple crochet two together. Okay, so don't pull through the last two loops. Instead, you're going to yarn over two times, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And once you have three loops left on your hook, just yarn over and pull through all three and then in the next stitch you're going to do triple crochet and then you're going to do a double crochet and then a half double crochet and then you're going to end this pattern with a single crochet on the other side and so you're going to repeat this all around the star. So I just finished my last half double crochet and instead of single crocheting over here, we're just going to slip stitch. So go into that chain one that you made at the start, slip stitch, and then you can chain one. And now we're going to start the next part of the border. This is the stitch that we just chained one in. So chain one, this is the stitch. And now we're going to go into this one over here and insert a half double crochet. So we're starting our next pattern now. So half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, and now we're going to be making a corner for our square. So whenever I say corner, it means that I'm going to insert one triple crochet and then chain two 
And in that same stitch, we're going to insert another triple crochet. So go into that same stitch and insert a triple crochet. Next, we're going to do another triple crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do a double crochet. Half double crochet. And then three single crochets. So one, two, and three. And that is the end of this pattern. And you're going to have your corner. And we're going to do this all around. So let's repeat the pattern one more time. So we start off with a half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, and then a corner where we insert one triple crochet. chain two and then insert another triple crochet in that same stitch triple crochet into the next stitch double crochet half double crochet Oops, sorry. Okay, so half double crochet. And then three single crochets. One, two, and three. And there we go. We have our first corner and our second corner. We're going to do this all around. And you're going to see that your star is twisting, but don't be worried. You don't have to keep a stitch count or anything. Just repeat the pattern until you come back over here. So I'm all done. I just did my last single crochet and now we're going to slip stitch into that chain one that we did at the beginning. And then you can chain one. Get your scissor. Tighten. And here you go. Here's how to do the star and the white border. And now we're going to be doing the thin black border. For this part, we're going to be attaching our black yarn into one of the chain two spaces. So into your corner. And just tie it with a knot. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three and you're going to insert a half double crochet in that same chain two space where you just attached your black yarn okay. and now in every stitch till you reach the next chain two space you're just going to insert one single crochet so just go into every stitch till you reach the next chain two space and keep inserting just one single crochet. Here I am at my next chain two space and I'm going to be inserting three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Now you're gonna go back the row again, inserting one single crochet in each stitch until you reach the next chain two space. So I'm at the end and at the beginning we did chain three and then we inserted one half double crochet. So we're going to insert another half double crochet. And since our chain three counts as one stitch, we technically have three half double crochets over here as well. And then you're just going to slip stitch at the top of your chain three to connect it. Chain one or two if you want to make it extra secure. And you can cut it and tighten. And here's what your finished star granny square should look like. And that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you liked it. And I can't wait to see what you turn your star granny square into. I've just been crocheting stars all day. They're so fun to make. 
And I managed to finish three of these granny squares, but I don't know what I'm gonna turn them into. Maybe a tote bag. Let me know in the comments what you want me to make and follow me on TikTok and Instagram to stay updated with what I turn them into. And see you next time.